All dog owners could be forced to sterilise their animals unless they register as official breeders. It's part of a tough crackdown recommended by animal welfare groups to try to stop puppy farming in WA. I mean, look at this face. Four-year-old Sonny is the product of a puppy farm. He's adorable. He's safe now, but the same can't be said for his mum and dad. His parents, unfortunately, are probably still in a puppy farm uh, with no love, no attention, no veterinary care. The RSPCA and other animal welfare groups are recommending tough action to stamp out the puppy trade. One key move, stopping backyard breeding by requiring all owners to have their dogs sterilised. Irresponsible dog breeding is occurring daily. The RSPCA sees far too much of it going on. The report's also pushing for all breeders to be registered, puppies microchipped and buyers told of the breeder's and puppy's ID. When you buy puppies from backyards or from online, even from pet shops, you're buying a dog that you can't trace. You don't know where that puppy has been bred. A lovely little Maltese. Pet shops would also be limited to selling rescued animals because many are accused of sourcing dogs from puppy farms, an accusation at least one Perth pet shop denied today. How do I know? Because I visit every house and I look at the condition of them all. What we need to do is shut down all this illegal breeding and then we buy from registered breeders. Dogs are being euthanized every day here in Perth, uh, healthy dogs. They are oversupplying uh, a glut of dogs. The Barnett government says it will investigate changes to dog breeding laws. Kate McPherson, Nine News.